dear family and friends, we have gathered in the presence of God to unite Matthew and Carolyn in this marriage. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that a man should leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home, and the two should become one flesh. Who gives the bride to be married? <laughs> <laughs> the home is built upon love, which virtue is best portrayed in the 13th chapter of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. So faith, hope, love abide, these three things, the greatest one is love. Marriage is a companionship which involves mutual commitment and responsibility. You will share alike in the responsibilities of the joys of life. When companions share sorrow, that sorrow is happy. And when they share joy, your joy is double. You are exalted to dedicate your home to God himself. Take his word, the Bible, for your guide. Give loyal devotion to his church, thus uniting the mutual strength of these two most important institutions. Live your lives as willing servants in true happiness and eternal reward. Let us pray. O oh Lord of life and love, bestow the grace upon this marriage and seal this commitment of thy children with love. As thou have brought them together by the divine providence, sanctify them by thy spirit, that they may give themselves fully one to another and to thee. Give them strength and patience to live their lives in a manner that will be mutually blessed themselves and honor thy holy name. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Matthew, do you take care of her to be your wife? Will you commit to her her happiness and her self-fulfillment as a person and to usefully in God's kingdom? Will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her, as long as you both should live. Carol, will you take Matthew to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness and his self-fulfillment as a person, and to be useful in God's kingdom? And do you promise to love, honor, and serve him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to him, just as long as you both shall be. These wedding rings are the symbol of marriage in at least two ways. The purity of gold symbolizes the purity of your love for each other. And the unending circle symbolizes the unending vows which you are taking which may be broken only in the sight of God, only by death. As a token of your vows, you will give and receive of these rings. Matthew, you will give the ring and repeat after me. Matthew, I, Matthew, take you care. With this ring, I pledge my love and my life to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I got it now. 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 I
Right. And with this ring, I pledge my love and my life to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. When you both repeat after me, entreat me not to leave you. Treat me not to leave you. Or to return from following you. For where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people. And my and your God shall be my God. To a family and friends, since they have made this commitment before God in this assembly, by the authority of God and the laws of the state of Mississippi, I have declared that Matthew and Callum are husband and wife. Matthew and Callum, you are no longer two independent people, but one. For therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. You may now peace your life. <laughs> The Lord make his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance and upon you and give you peace. The Lord grace of Lord Jesus and the love of God and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with you both. Amen. 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 Amen.